Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some Forza Horizon 2. And I'm going to do a car build this episode. Uh, last episode, well, my last car build, I built this uh, Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. And surprisingly, it was actually pretty good. And this time, I'm going to go with... I clicked that a little bit quick, too quick. But I'm going with the Dodge Challenger. Um, the Dodge Challenger. I never really tune muscle, to be fair. And I just thought... I won this car off of, off of a spin and I was like, you know what, let's make this as a car build because seeing as I haven't really tuned muscle in a very, 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 very long time, I thought it'd be pretty good. So uh, let's go to an area where we don't normally go. Um, should we go up to this? Uh, let's go to Nice. Fuck it. Right, so let's go here and let's fast travel there. Uh, just so we can go to the hub and put upgrades and tune and shit. Um, but yeah, this Challenger, I don't know how it's going to turn out. Hopefully it turns out alright. Um, but it could turn out pretty terrible. <laughs> uh, shit. I ain't been on this game for so long. I've just been playing um, NBA 2K15. Uh, I was really enjoying NBA at the moment. Okay, so we're, we're in the garage. Yeah, let's go to garage, right, and then so upgrade. What are we doing to your ride today? Um, I don't know. What are we doing to my ride today? Even I don't know. Okay, conversion engine swap. Let's see what they got. I'm gonna completely. I think I'm gonna stick with a uh, stock, but there is a 6.2 liter V8, which is a bit insane. Not gonna lie. Uh, that puts it to 455 horsepower, which is. I don't know. There's no point really. Uh, this one gets 425 anyway, so. Uh, all wheel drive don't need that aspiration I don't know if this has the single turbocharger as stock um, so I'm just gonna have a quick look no it doesn't have a single turbocharger as stock so I'm gonna actually chuck on the twin turbo uh, that should push us up quite a bit there we go nearly 500 horsepower in this now I'm going to aim for about, let's say, sorry, one second. Uh, I'm just going to aim for about, let's say, trying to think of a horsepower that is kind of sensible. Uh, probably about 550, to be honest. Uh, 550 seems pretty nice. Seems just about right. Um, so that's, I don't think there will be any body kits. Uh, there's a bonnet. Okay. Don't want that. So this is just going to be Forza. And yeah, let's not do that. Okay, let's come out of there. Now we're on to tyres. I'm going to stick with the stock tyres. Front tyre width. They're really skinny to what I thought they would be. Uh, two six fives. Let's go two four fives on the front. Oh my god. Let's go over here. Um, so I had two four fives. So let's go... Let's go 295s and I'm going to turn up the front just a smidge. So let's go 265s on the front. Okay, that's a good ratio we got there. So rims. I think I'll have to go to the specialized here to find some nice ones. Uh, okay. I can't find any nice ones. I kind of like these style, but I don't think they really work on the charger. But I'm just going to do it anyway. They don't really suit the charger that much, but you know, I like the wheels, so let's go for it. Uh, let's put 16s on. We don't want to go too ridiculous. Seeing as uh, it's 14s as standard, we don't want to kill too much of that tire wall, so let's put the 16s on. Okay, that's, that's the tiles done. So now into drivetrain, everything racing here. This is going to be mad though. I drifted a muscle car in a really long time. Probably fours or four when um, I had a charger. No, not a charger. I actually had a Mustang after that actually. So probably be a Mustang on fours or four. I didn't actually have a Mustang on fours or five, which is really weird. 
Uh, race brakes, we want to stop the car. Pretty much tuning a car is more kind of common sense than anything else. Uh, let's put the ride height completely down. We want front anti-roll bars, we want to we want to tune those anti-roll bars here. Same on the rear. Okay, roll cage. I don't know how this is going to look. It looks pretty nice to be fair, you can see it quite a bit, so I'm going to go for it. I can't move my camera on this wheel, so that's why I'm not moving my camera. Uh, race weight reduction, there we go. 1,300 kilos from, from a muscle car. That's really light, to be fair. <laughs> okay, so we want about 550 horsepower. So let's go with the intake and exhaust and see what that puts us up to. 511, okay. So if we put some cool in on this. All right, let's see what the camshafts say, actually. 555, five, five. that's probably about right, actually. So let's do 555 five, five, and let's see if we can fit in an intercooler. Let's just do the, the street intercooler and oil and cooling. They shouldn't put it up too much. Let's go race oil and cooling and a race flywheel. So we should have enough power for this car. I think we've got over the top power in this car actually. Uh, so let's exit out of this and let's hit some of the roads. See if it see if it drifts the stock. Because obviously there's a lot of power in it, so I think it's going to slide pretty well. Okay, gear two is quite long. That's mad. Wow, this feels fucking sick already. Wow, what the hell are you driving, bro? Absolutely feels absolutely like absolutely. <laughs> I don't even know what I was trying to say. I just kind of said absolutely in it. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh my god! This feels absolutely insane. Oh shit! That just holds like an anything like. What the hell? That has got some absolute stableness to it. I think the one thing I'm going to change is the gearing for now. Because I hate drifting in gear 2 and that's what I'm drifting in so... Let's do the tune here then. <laughs> okay, so let's go to tune car. Uh, tire pressure seem about right. Let's take the front down a tiny bit, try and get a little bit more responsiveness in that. Okay, so gearing was too long. So let's just move it down. Let's go to like 3.65, that's about right. Okay, let's put a tiny bit of camera on the rear, see if that messes up the kind of stableness. If it does, I will take it back down. A little bit of tow. Let's put the caster all the way up. I'm not going to change the anti-roll bars or the springs because it seemed it seemed pretty nice. So I don't want to mess about with this tune too much. Uh, damping, I'm going to leave the same, and pump sifters to leave the same as well. Uh, differential, I'm going to lock it, see if it helps, uh, but it was on 75, 75, so I do know that if it doesn't work, I can just change that. Okay, so let's see how this goes now. Okay, it's a lot shorter on the gears. That's not going to work. <laughs> Should have went for the entry, there's just so many cars. Can you go in there? No, you can't go in there. Sorry. I'm <laughs> get, out, get out of the way. Get out of the way! It's a madness. I can't keep it on the road at the moment. Oh, 
Oh shit, that didn't transition very well. Okay. So I want to stiffen up the suspension a bit. Okay. Let me just stiffen this up a bit. A bit? Oh, a bit! Okay, that's about right. Um, let's take this rebound and bump stiffness. Uh, I'll leave bump stiffness the same, but I just want to make the car overall a little bit stiffer. Would you like to apply this? Yes, I would actually. I thought I could make that. That's better, that transitioned a little bit better. There we go. Let's get onto the right hand side of the road. <laughs> ah, that transitioned so much better. Love it. Why did I think I had to go this way? Oh well, kind of work. Why? Why would you get in the way like that? There was no need. This car is so stable. Oh my days! Through the flowers. I can't believe how stable this actually is. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Um, I normally stray away from muscle cars. I don't know why. I just, I'm just not a fan of muscle cars. I'm more like JDM tuner cars. Uh, but for some reason, this feels absolutely amazing. Maybe I'm gonna have to go a little bit more muscle nowadays. <laughs> uh, so I don't think I'm actually gonna change this tune much now because the gearing is about fine. I like gear free, so. It's got enough, oh wow, I've got enough acceleration in gear 3, um, it's short enough, uh, the stableness is fine, enough power in it, and it's just all feeling absolutely amazing right now, so I'm going to leave this tune here, um, I'll quickly go back through the settings, um, but if you want to see the upgrades, uh, go back to the start of the video. And the upgrades will be there. Uh, just pause them like when you need to pause it and shit. Wow, this car. The angle it holds is just too much. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, I think that's a good time to stop right there. And go over to the tune. Just so you guys can see the tune again all in one piece. Uh, so there's the tyres. The gear in alignment, anti-roll bars, the springs, damping, aero, the brakes, and the differentials. So if you want to see any of those just pause it when you want to stop it. And I am going to put this setup on, 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 on the storefront. So if you guys don't want to copy it down and you just want the tune, uh, you can just go to this and uh, type in my name on the storefront and you can just download it. So I spelt drift wrong, so that's not good. Uh, let's just do that and it should start uploading. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to suggest a car for me to tune next episode, I'm looking for more kind of, uh, let's say, more out of the normal kind of cars. So if you want to see me tune a Porsche, I, I don't even know if there's Porsches on this game or whatever, but... A little bit more out of out of the known. That'd be quite good. Uh, try and spread this out a little bit more into some better and different cars. So that is now uploaded onto the the setup database storefront place. So if you guys want to download that, go for it. It saves copying down the tune and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you leave a comment saying what car you want to see next, and I'll hopefully tune that. Uh, but this car is feeling absolutely amazing. I don't know what it's going to feel like on the controller, uh, but you guys will have to let me know that. And yeah, I'll see you guys next episode.